When you get your collar, it will come with instructions on how best to fit the collar to your cat's neck and how best to hold it uh, in, in that um, length once you've set it. So ideally, especially for a very active cat, um, you want to make sure this is done properly because a really active cat will move around and and a lot and this it'll pull on, it'll get pulled and it'll change sizes and then once it changes sizes a little bit, this component, when you get a loop in it, it'll, it'll pull and the breakaway buckle, which is of course the buckle we have to use unless you, you know, you don't want to strangle your cat, will break away when you pull. That's the whole idea. It keeps your cat from getting caught on things and strangling to death because it, it does happen. It sounds terrible, but it does happen. So what you want to do is you want to get your cat, put the collar around your cat's neck, and then make sure that it's tight enough that you can just squeeze one finger between the neck and the collar. And that is, in general, the right size for your cat. Take it off and then find the spot between the buckle and this um, curved component and we're going to stitch right here to hold it so that it doesn't move around and I'm using red thread but so you can see it but generally you would probably use white. So first you want to go to the back and through the first layer or the back first layer depending on how you look at it and just do a stay stitch a simple stay stitch. I usually go twice because that holds it nice. Pull on it to make sure that it is nice and, and sturdy. Stick the needle through so that it goes through all four layers and it comes up through the front. And you're going to do that just a couple times. You can hear the train in the background because our workshop is right near the train track. But I'm almost done. So two stitches is usually ample and understand too that if you decide that you want to make it bigger or smaller you can easily just cut these stitches and I'll show you how to do that. And then make another stay stitch on the back. trim your thread. And then if you see, and if you use white thread, you won't see this. Then when your cat moves around, it, it will be set in place. Let's say your cat gets fatter. Not that that ever happens to us, right? You, you can cut these stitches and start again. Just go between the two layers between, trim, pull the threads out, and start again. So that is how you size and keep the size in place for your collar.